Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. X of t is continuous on the set of non-negative real numbers. The limit as t tends to infinity of X of t exists and is equal to the real number L. S is positive. We are interested in the limit as S tends to zero from above of S times the integral t from zero to infinity e to the minus st times X of t. We need to show that this limit is exactly equal to L. This is a special case of the final value theorem in Laplace transform. I assume here that X of t is continuous and that S is real. To prove the limit statement, we start with the magnitude of S times the integral minus L. We will try to show that this magnitude can be made arbitrarily small via choosing a small enough S. L is multiplied by one. We can write one as the integral t from zero to infinity S e to the minus ST. We can combine the integrals to get the integral t from zero to infinity S e to the minus ST times X of t minus L. Let's apply the triangle inequality for integrals. The magnitude of the integral is less than or equal to the integral of the magnitude of the integrand. S and e to the minus st are real and positive. So the magnitude of the integrand is s e to the minus st times the magnitude of x of t minus l. x of t tends to l as t tends to infinity. This means that for every positive epsilon, there exists a positive delta such that for every t greater than or equal to delta, the magnitude of x of t minus l is less than epsilon over 2. We take this integral and split it into an integral from zero to delta plus another one from delta to infinity. In this integral here, t is greater than delta. This absolute value is upper bounded by epsilon over two. The integral starting from delta is upper bounded by the integral starting from zero. And this integral is equal to one. This part here is upper bounded by epsilon over two. To handle this part, we use the continuity of x of t. If x of t is continuous, then it is continuous on the closed interval from zero to delta. Magnitude x of t is continuous and has a maximum value equal to m when t is between zero and delta. This magnitude is upper bounded by the magnitude of x of t plus the magnitude of L by the triangle inequality. The magnitude of x of t is less than or equal to m. This absolute value is less than or equal to m plus the absolute value of L. The integral t from zero to delta s e to the minus st is one minus e to the minus s delta. Can we make this quantity less than epsilon over two? We need to make e to the minus s delta greater than one minus epsilon over two divided by m plus the absolute value of L. If this fraction is greater than or equal to one, then the right-hand side of this inequality is non-positive and the inequality is automatically satisfied for any choice of positive s. If epsilon over two over m plus the absolute value of L is strictly less than one, we can take the natural logarithm of both sides. The inequality is preserved because logarithm is strictly increasing. Dividing both sides by minus delta, we get S less than minus len this bracket divided by delta. Define eta to be one over delta times minus len one minus the minimum of this fraction and one half. If this fraction is less than one half, then eta is minus len one minus epsilon over two over M plus the absolute value of L. This minimum here, means that if this fraction exceeds one half, we just take eta to be one over delta times minus len one half, which is len two over delta. For every positive S that is less than eta, this magnitude is upper bounded by these two terms and each term is upper bounded by epsilon over two. This magnitude is upper bounded by epsilon. This is true for any positive epsilon indeed the limit as s tends to zero from above of s integral t from zero to infinity e to the minus st x of t is l, which is the limit of x of t as t tends to infinity.